फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एपगर स्कोर इट इज अ स्कोर विच प्रिडिक्ट डिग्री ऑफ एसफिक्सिया एंड इट इज यूजफुल फॉर प्रोग्नोसिस बट it does not determine it does not determine active resuscitation hello everyone welcome to this treasure discussion and the important brief but high yielding treasure discussion that we are going to do is based upon a topic that is apgar score these treasures are a part of your super specialty pediatric exams and they are very useful for quick revision before your exam because end of the day concepts are important but facts are also equally important and these treasures help you in quick revision of those facts in addition to the concepts so let us start with apgar score apgar score is something that you already know what i'll be discussing are only the relevant points now apgar score was a original score which was devised by a anesthesiologist uh, the lady name was virginia apgar earlier the score was used to define those babies where resuscitation is needed but later on it was found that if you depend too much upon a scoring system it is going to delay resuscitation so if you look at the current resuscitation guidelines there is no rule of apgar score in the resuscitation protocol however as a matter of convention in every child who undergoes resuscitation and, and even in normal babies we always do a apgar score apgar score is done usually at 1 and 5 minutes of life and in asphyxiated babies you can do it multiple number of times uh, at 10 15 minutes and some, sometimes even 20 minutes apgar score retrospectively tells you whether significant asphyxia happened or not having said that there can be false positive and false negative cases let us begin with the component what are the five components of apgar score Th there are five components which can be remembered based upon the acronym apgar each of these stand for one component that is being discussed for each uh, component three types of scores are given 0 1 and 2 so the first component is appearance a stands for appearance Score of zero is given if the child is completely cyanotic. If the child is completely blue, we give a score of zero. If the child is having acrocyanosis, what is acrocyanosis? Body is pink, but the extremities are blue. A score of one is given. And if the child is completely pink, a score of two is given. The second P stands for pulse, that is heart rate. If the pulse is absent, score of zero. If it is less than hundred per minute, score of one. If it is equal to or more than hundred per minute, that is given a score of two. the third component is g g stands for grimace what is grimace grimace is basically reflex irritability how do you check for grimace you take a wasp of cotton or more commonly a sterile feeding tube and irritate the nostril of the child and you see the response of the child so on grimacing if there is no response you give a score of 0 if you find that the child is having a grimacing response grimacing response is making a face like this that is grimace if the child coughs or sneezes that is a score of 2 then activity if the activity is also sometimes certain textbooks written as attitude so activity or attitude are the fourth component more commonly we use the word activity if the child is limp flaccid no activity is happening score of 0 if the child is showing some flexion score of 1 if there is active uh, flexion and extension that is actively moving all four limbs you will give a score of 2 and the fifth component is r that is respiratory effort remember it is not respiratory rate it is respiratory effort if there is no breathing absent score of 0 if the uh, it is weak or slow we give a score of 1 and if it is vigorous and the child is crying we give a score of 2 so what is the interpretation of the score total score if you find that it is between you calculate for each component and then you make the total score if the total score is between 7 to 9 that is considered to be a normal score if the score is uh, apgar score is between 4 to 6 we call it as moderately depressed and if the score is 0 to 3 we call it as severely depressed severely depressed score there is also a terminology that you need to understand what is the meaning of a positive apgar score positive apgar basically means it is a not a term which should be used but still you will find certain institutions certain textbooks using it positive apgar means an abnormal apgar score so any score 6 or below is usually considered to be a positive apgar so positive apgar is actually not positive for the child it simply shows that there is some abnormality and what is negative apgar these terms because they used to con produce confusion they have now been discarded 
but the meaning of these terms is important because sometimes examiner can also ask you even in your departmental assessment i still remember one of the students had been asked some years back in aims departmental assessment super speciality uh, when the interview happens what is the meaning of positive and negative apgar score unfortunately the student did not uh, know the answer so negative apgar basically means a relatively normal apgar score but these terms please remember they are now discarded they are only of historical importance understood so what are the key points that you should know regarding uh, apgar score first of all apgar score it is a score which predicts degree of asphyxia and it is useful for prognosis but it does not determine it does not determine active resuscitation when do you perform apgar score in all babies you will do at 1 and 5 minutes of life in all babies who are undergoing asphyxia you will done at 1 5 10 and 15 minutes very rarely 20 minutes can also be done and then what is false positive apgar score false positive apgar score basically means there is a low apgar but there is no asphyxia or acidosis in the child so the child did not have hie the child did not have asphyxia but the apgar score you found to be relatively low 6 or below you will call it as false positive there are lot of causes of false positive apgar score what are the causes that you should remember first of all extreme prematurity can sometimes cause a false positive apgar score secondly uh, if the mother is having intoxication so maternal drugs like sedatives maternal magnesium sulfate can sometimes cause false positive apgar score any spinal cord trauma in the child in the baby of course then it will cause false positive apgar score any congenital myopathy or congenital neuropathy in the baby can cause a false positive apgar score then if the baby is having any hypovolemia due to hemorrhage it can cause a false positive apgar score then if the child is having bilateral coanal atresia it can cause a false positive apgar score last but not the least abnormalities in cns or pulmonary system congenital malformations in cns or pulmonary system can also cause a false positive apgar score last but not the least false negative apgar score what is false negative apgar score false negative will mean there is asphyxia or acidosis present but the score is relatively better what are the conditions the common conditions it has a very less list first of all if the patient is having high fetal catecholamine levels secondly if the mother is having acidosis and thirdly some term or post term units sometimes can have a false negative apgar score right now you can be asked question you say high fetal catecholamine levels you may be asked what is the condition where there is high fetal catecholamine levels typical example is a fetal or a neonatal neuroblastoma if it is a active neuroblastoma which is producing vasoactive substances there can be a false negative score that is because of high epinephrine or epinephrine and the metabolites despite asphyxia the circulation may be good uh, the extremities may be pink and so the baby may not have a, a very low score compared to the degree of asphyxia so these are the conditions and points related to apgar score that you should remember apgar score very important treasure revise similar treasures uh, from your prep ladder super speciality app thank you subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from prep ladder